Hi everybody, Steve here. I'm about to prepare dinner and I thought I'd share with you some real simple little recipe that that my wife made, uh, came up with and we use it as a main course for dinner. We have this with uh, some vegetables, potatoes, whatever. But you can also use this as a snack. It's a delicious snack. So let me show you right now. I'm about to prepare. First we've cut up some, sliced some tomatoes and then we have some some garlic toast. You, this is New York Texas toast, but you can use any brand. And what we do is we get a cookie sheet, take some foil, lay that foil flat down on the cookie sheet, and then spray some of uh, Pam. I use olive oil on onto the cookie sheet. Then we get these Texas toast out. And it comes right out of the freezer. And then you just follow the directions, whatever the directions say on the Texas toast, to, uh, to bake them. Just lay them out on the, onto the cookie sheet that's been sprayed with pan. Now we're going to bake these, and then we're going to come back to them. So we're going to bake them for, it says, uh, best results, five to seven minutes. We're going to bake for five to seven minutes. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Seven minutes in the oven, according to the directions on the box. And then what we do is we get some cheese. In it. You can use cheese of your choice, but I'm using mozzarella. And put the mozzarella cheese as, as liberal as you like, according to your taste on top of the garlic bread. And some people like more than others. And then just smooth it out a little bit so it's not too thick. And then put that on there like that. I like mozzarella. This is low, low part skim milk mozzarella. Then we take the tomatoes that we sliced earlier, delicious, and put two on each garlic bread on top of the mozzarella cheese. Put that little one on that little bread. Just like that. See, just like they do in the, in the professional cooking shows. <laughs> All right. Now when that's all done, you put, uh, get your mozzarella and put a little more on top of the tomatoes. Now you've already cooked this garlic bread according to the directions, but we didn't turn off the oven because we're going to put it back in just to melt the cheese and get the tomatoes a little warm. Once again, how much cheese is on there and how much you like. I'm going to center this back onto the cookie sheet. Alright, so we'll open the oven back up. Still set at 425 according to the box, directions on the box. Put that in there and we close it up for a couple minutes. Just enough when you see the cheese melting. Well, I got one of them windows on my stove, my oven, and uh, a light in there. So as soon as that melts, we're good to go. The cheese is melted. So let's take these garlic bread out of the oven, and that's what it looks like. Yummy, yummy, and it's surprisingly tasty. I'm telling you, you wouldn't think just adding tomatoes. Some mozzarella uh, cheese to garlic bread would, would be that big a deal, but these are excellent for a snack or for a main course. Try it, you'll like it. 